Howdy, it's Jim Arado, and this is the middle of February 2023. I'm at the Kentucky Fun Mall in Lexington, Kentucky. This is, uh, it's on Loudoun Avenue, it's kind of at the end, kind of in a funky new area. There's a couple cool coffee shops and some other cool things that have popped up in this area, and you know, including the Kentucky Fun Mall. And they have, it's kind of just a cool t-shirt sticker, novelty kind of shop. And when I need a nice, cool, funky present for someone, usually you know, like a Christmas present for a friend in Ohio or somewhere else, this is a cool place to get them something from Kentucky. They do have some crazy stuff. In fact, I think on that shelf, there are some jars of, uh, let's just say something made by race horses. They're selling that as art. That's a little weird, but they also have some cool uh, Colonel Sanders, uh, some vintage Colonel Sanders banks. Here's a quick look around the shop. You can get a very rough idea of what they've got. And they do have yeah, just cool t-shirts, cool stickers. That's why I go in there. And they've got some cool displays too. And they also have Cocaine Bear. And I know there's a movie about to come out uh, loosely based on the story of Cocaine Bear. And I thought I would just swing by there. I actually had to pick up a shirt for a present. And I thought I'd swing in here real quick to see Cocaine Bear. Just put up a quick video. And again, just another shot around the Kentucky Fun Mall. That, uh, that was a politician that was on... Those big oversized statues were on billboards in eastern Kentucky. And I think they only made six of those giant statues and the Kentucky Fun Mall has one. There's a little case of just Kentucky mem memorabilia. Of course the Colonel Sanders mask. There is a Jim Varney doll. Everybody's favorite Lexingtonian Jim Varney. And uh, yeah, and just uh, real quickly here, here's some info about Cocaine Bear. They had a little sign up that he's about to go on tour for some of the premieres of the new movie that's coming out. And of course, behind a little rope, and you can see people have made offerings to him, which is interesting. And there's Cocaine Bear. In 1985, this poor bear ingested some cocaine that was dumped by some guys smuggling drugs. And he, of course, did not make it, and they, they mounted him. Uh, he was owned for a while by Waylon Jennings, and now he is at the Kentucky Fun Mall. And you can check him out if you're in the area.